Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will talk about the file reference data type available in Backendless Console. As the name suggests, file reference is a special data type designed to provide an ability for your data records to reference a file that is stored somewhere. There are special considerations and support for the files stored in the Backendless file storage system. Uh, and but you can store files absolutely anywhere on the web as long as they have a URL. Quite often we get a question from users asking how to store files in the database. And uh, this, this is generally a wrong approach if you're thinking about storing actual files in the database because files, they belong to the file system and database contains data. This could be different though if your files are JSON documents that you need to run searches for and uh, manipulate the data inside of the JSON. And for that, there is a separate data type called JSON that we review in a separate video. But for any use cases outside of storing JSON and outside when you need to manipulate the JSON when you have just regular files, then file storage is the way to go. Backendless provides a file uh, system that is available with every single application and it's a it's a fairly powerful system where you get uh, an ability to store your files in directories there is a, there is an API for pretty much everything that you can do with files uploading downloading moving them between the directories uh, deleting files uh, d getting directory listings and so on so whenever you have a use case where you have a database record and there is a related file then generally the approach would be to upload that file into the file storage system and then reference that file in backendless data record with the file reference data type. Let me demonstrate how that would work. So for this, I'm using data table uh, person, the same data table we've been reviewing in all other videos. And when we switch to schema, let's add a new record, actually a new column. Let's call it resume. And the data type for that will be file reference. The default value will work exactly the same way as uh, with all other data types. And here you can provide a URL for a file. And whenever you store a new record, if it does not have the resume column uh, or the whatever the column that you use for file reference type, if that uh, property is not present in the object you're saving, then the default value will be used to store that data in the record that is going to be created. Same thing goes for the constraints, and we have already reviewed that in other videos. So for now, let's create that column, and let's take a look in data browser. So here, you see this is the column that is created. Uh, it indicates the data type is file reference, and then clicking this icon will give you an ability to uh, create a reference to a file either from backendless file system or a file that is referenceable by a URL that sits somewhere else. For the demo purposes, I already uploaded the file into the file storage system. Let me demonstrate that in the files section. I do have a directory called web and in here, see there is this file called resume sample, which is just a PDF file. So what I will do is I will create a reference to that file for uh, one of the data records here. So click this icon and this pop-up opens up and you can use the search bar and it will search throughout all the subdirectories if this checkbox is enabled or if you know where it is, you can just navigate to that file and for this, I will go into the web directory and this is my file resume sample. Select the file, click add relation. So now reference to that file was created. If your files reside somewhere else, whether it's S3 or any other file storage mechanism on the web, when you, uh, to create a reference, click on this and uh, uh, in here, see you can, this is what I used to select file from the app storage, or you can use this uh, radio button and just put in the URL for your file. I already had the URL there, but for a new record, you can see this is the text box where you can put in the URL for the file that you want to create a reference. Let's take a look at what it uh, looks like uh, whenever data is returned from the database for a query. So my record, uh, the name is Joe, and uh, in REST console, I can uh, run a query where name equals Joe and uh, click get. Notice that this is the response that I get. The resume property has a URL to the file that is referenced for that record.
The domain name here is um, going to be sensitive to the actual domain name that you use to send an API request to. When I click the Get button, uh, there is an API request that goes out to the backend list, and the URL of that request will use whatever uh, is designated in this dropdown. So in this case, I use the domain name assigned to me by backendless to my application, but I also have a custom domain assigned to it, which is backendless.us. Watch what happens if I use that domain to get the same record. Click Get. Notice that Resume now has this URL where the domain name is my custom domain. So what happens here is Whenever you have a file reference and it references a, fi a file stored in backendless file storage, the URL that you're going to be getting back will use this domain name that you used in the actual request. And then here, this is custom domain, this is domain assigned to it. I can actually select REST API key. In this case, the actual domain that the request will be sent to will be generic backendless domain, which is api.backendless.com. In this case, the domain for the file will be different. So click Get, and notice it is this generic domain that we use for file storage, which is backendlessappcontent.com. It has application ID and REST API key in this case. Uh, some users get um, uh, have a concern that, oh, uh, an API key uh, appears in the URL that is not secure. Actually, it is not correct uh, API keys are not meant to be secure. The actual security of your backendless application it comes from uh, applying the appropriate security policy that can be configured for your file storage, for your database. And uh, this, this is actually a separate topic that we'll be reviewing when we get to the database security section of this course. So this is really not a concern. Recommended way is to use either uh, App, a domain assigned to your application or a custom domain simply because the actual URLs that you get are shorter and prettier. So uh, that's what it is when it comes to retrieving data. But uh, uh, remember that we created that file reference manually. What I will do is I will demonstrate how to uh, create a data record using API. So for this, I will copy that URL and uh, I will create, let me clear this out, a new object. And uh, the name that we will assign will be Tom. And the resume will be that URL that I just copied. So in your application, uh, of course, you may have a question, well, where do I get this URL in my application? As I mentioned earlier in this video, the actual process of creating a file reference with API would be a two-step process. First, you'll be uploading that file. There is an API for that. When you upload the file, the response for that file upload operation will be actual URL of the file as it is assigned by Backendless. You take that URL and then you store the object with that URL in, in the database, which is the operation that I'm uh, going to run right now. So click Put, and uh, it created a record. And now the resume has this file reference. If we go back to data browser, this is my record, Tom. And as you can see, it has this file reference that references a file in backendless file storage system. That's all there is to it. Uh, this, is, uh, this is an important one because there are a lot of applications that we see that, uh, that work with files and granted uh, pretty much uh, any application where you have some additional files, whether it's resumes or avatar images or any kind of image that is related to a record, uh, that use case that I just described will come into play. So it's going to be quite important to understand how file references work. Hey guys, a few hours after I finished recording this video, it occurred to me that it would be uh, rather useful to demonstrate how uh, creating file references would work with something like UI Builder. And indeed, uh, seeing it in action and just seeing how to wire two different operations, file upload and storing an object in a, in a single uh, example would be very useful. So it is already dark outside, so clearly some time has passed since I recorded the video and unlike many others where I do it in a single shot, this one um, took uh, more than one take. Uh, anyway, so here I'm back in Backendless Console and uh, let me show uh, the the process of uh, storing a file reference with UI Builder. If you are using Backendless SDK, any of them, the process will be exactly the same. With UI Builder, it's just easier to demonstrate. 
So here I will switch to uh, the front end section and uh, I have created a brand a blank page that is called file upload and in here I will place two buttons one of them will be file uploader button you see it is at the very bottom of the tool set this component uh, makes it easier to upload a file uh, to backendless and uh, as a result you get the URL to that file and that URL we will use in the second button that I will place right here I will uh, change the label to save object and this one will be responsible for actually saving uh, an object in the backendless database with a reference to the file that is uploaded by this one. So this component, we can change the accept accept property dictates what file formats are going to be accepted. If we remove it, it's going to be all image uh, formats and PDF. So since we're working with PDFs in this example, uh, this will be sufficient. The directory where I want to upload, let's call it documents. If this directory doesn't exist, it will be created, so that is okay. Uh, the behavior of this component is that once I select the file and it is uploaded, it will, the actual button will go away. There will be a label that says uploaded. In fact, you can configure that label right here. And uh, click the button, go to the logic section and uh, on upload success you could either add logic to do some extra processing we don't need that we can just use data binding and bind the value that comes back to a property called file url you can name this property whatever you want what's, what's going to happen is in the data model for that page which is the page data model there will be a property called file url with the actual file url value then when i click the second button let's go into the logic for that in the on click event we're going to add logic for saving an object in backendless database for this go into the data api and find this block save object in backendless the, the table where we're going to save it it will be called person well we that table is already there and let's create an object that will be saved in backendless by using this block i got this block in the object section the very first one we can configure the properties that the object will have. It will be name and resume, just like this. The name, we can be, it can be hard-coded for the simplicity's sake. Let's uh, say that that person can be named Becky. And then the resume value, we're going to get it from page data because by now we expect that the URL is going to be there. So let's get the property file URL from page data. That's all it takes. So now if we run this page in preview, and I will open up inspect so we can see anything that is going on on the wire. Let's uh, upload a file. And in here, uh, here's a sample resume PDF. That's it, file is uploaded and you can see there is a request right here to upload that file. And uh, we got the URL back, now it is sitting in page data. And then when I click save object, here's this request to save uh, object. And as you can see, this is the payload. And uh, the property name is Becky. Resume has the full URL of that file. And this will save an object in the database. The response that we got, this is the response of that saved uh, object and then the resume has this URL and as you can see this URL was transformed to uh, uh, conform to the actual domain name that I'm using to send this request to. By going back to backendless console switch to backend and now we'll see that here's this record Becky and it contains this resume sample that uh, is a file reference to the file that we uploaded from a UI builder example. That's all there is to it. So now uh, it, is, uh, it is a complete example and the video is really complete. Thank you for watching and as always, happy coding.